Hello, Richard again today. Let me share you today a little bit about sales funnel. Okay, for those that are not very sure what is a sales funnel, let me share my screen. As you can see over here, this is a typical sales funnel with the four stages. The top of the sales funnel is basically the brand awareness. This is whereby you create brand awareness about your product services so that the public or rather your target audience know that your product or your brand exists. Right? The second of the stage is about consideration so that your audience will be consider your product services and compare your product and services with your competitor's offerings. And the third, third stage is about converting them to sales. After you convert them to sales, you are trying, you will try to upsell them or cross sell them. If they refuse or reject your offer, you'll try to downsell them. And the last stage obviously is about sales, right? So ultimately for these videos, okay, we're gonna focus in search engine marketing and particularly Google advertisements. Okay, so what is Google Ads? I can see from the screen right here, there's four different types of Google advertisements. So obviously Google, there's only the search types and the display type. So YouTube ads and Gmail ads actually fall under the umbrella of display ads. But for illustration purpose, I'm going to put these four out in this photo or rather the image so you're able to understand a clearer picture. So if we're going to create a sales funnel, the first thing and the most important thing is to create awareness, right? To create awareness of these four, it is the easiest to build awareness by creating display advertisement and YouTube advertisement. Okay, first, let me talk about search advertisement. When we talk about Google Ads search advertisement, we are talking about text ad. T-E-X-T, -E text. That's where people will go to the google.com and they start typing what they're looking for. Right? For example, looking for yoga mat, right? And then all the uh, text ad will appear. So you can see those with the AD, AD, all the text advertisement. So those this search text ad is basically for those people that already know what they're looking for. The intention is that. So if you think about that, if you look carefully at the search sales funnel again, People, if they know what product they're looking for, they're trying to compare your product with your competitive products, they're actually at the stage two or the consideration stage. But for a sales funnel to work well, your qualities of your leads have to be good. It has to be uh, authentic. It has to be uh, come from where you know, uh, your customer is. So we are talking about this part, right? The sales engine marketing. So basically, what we're going to do is we are focused a lot on display ads and YouTube ads. Why so? What is display? Display basically is when you go to a website, okay, for example, you go to your, your, uh, your business times or your street times and you go to your website, your newspaper, you will look at there's a lot of banners all over the places, right? Okay, so those banner ads is actually called display ads under the umbrella of Google Advertisement. So you are actually not intentionally looking for that product or services, but the ad appear there because that particular website, let's say it's a newspaper website, actually have a certain demographic of target audience. So the advertisers like me and you may be, may be trying to focus, try to try to lure okay, this target audience demographic into your sales funnel. And that's why you create your display advertisement in that particular website, right? So display ads is very useful for sales funnel if you want to create, generate new leads. And the second one, which is very popular today and it's very effective, is basically the YouTube advertisement. Okay, as you can see, even before this video, you will see there's a short advertisement before this video, right? And uh, you can actually skip the ads after five seconds. Okay, so if you don't skip the ads, you'll continue to see what the advertiser have to advertise. And if you click on the link, you'll go to the advertiser landing page. So YouTube advertisement is very useful to create, okay, to, to, to build, a brand awareness about your product services. Of course, to be frank, YouTube advertisement is a totally different platform than Google Ads, text ad, or display ads. Okay, that's the reason why I, I put it differently over here. But just to let you know, for a typical sales funnel, okay, the display ad and the YouTube ads is something that you want to focus on. Okay, and of course, as you can see from the illustration, there's Gmail advertisement. So basically, Gmail advertisement is whereby you go to your Gmail and you will look for uh, uh you're gonna read your email inbox, right? And then they were actually you used to be on the top of the inbox, the first one or two line. And those days, those good old days, Gmail is very effective. Nowadays, personal opinion, okay, Gmail, the advertisement is actually on another new tab, right? On the 
promotion tab, as you can see, right? You go to your Google today, Gmail, you will see there's an inbox, there's a, I mean, primary, and then there's a promotion tab, and then there's a social tab, right? So those who advertise, okay, well, the ads will fall under the promotion tab or even the social tab. So think about it, who will be in the right mind, open the, the, the promotion or the social tab to look at advertisement? Okay, maybe the advertisers like you and me, we're trying to see what our competitor is offering. If not, it's not going to be that effective like it used to be, right? So personal opinion, I will use display and YouTube ads for generating leads for this sales funnel. Okay, you must understand, okay, there's many ways to generate leads in a sales funnel. As you can see over at this illustration, you can even do email marketing, right? If you collect email from your uh, website, landing pages, you can do social media marketing. We're talking about Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Instagram, okay? A lot of different social media nowadays, right? So there's so many ways you can generate leads. But in a typical sales funnel like this, you have to remember this thing. The quality of your leads in the beginning of the top of the funnel will affect where, how much is your conversion in a stage two on the considerations. Imagine you're targeting the wrong person, the wrong target audience that is not interested in your product services. No matter how good is your website or e-commerce store or landing page to try to convince or try to convert your customers or rather that audience to become customers, it, the, the conversion rate is going to be very bad, right? So. Think about it. So in a sales funnel, first thing first, you have to have quality leads, right? So quality leads, as we talk about here, you can see we are focusing on Google Ads for this short video. We are focusing on display ads and we're focusing on YouTube ads. So and uh, if you are interested to learn more about display ads and YouTube ads, okay, I will create another video next time. Uh, so that I can focus on display ads, how to create a new display ads, so that campaign, so that you can learn. Uh, step by steps or even a YouTube advertisement, right? But for now, this video, I want to have you give you an overview of exactly, right, how to do this. And of course, you can see from that, this particular funnel, there's also social media marketing. So I have to spend a few minutes to talk about social media marketing, particularly Facebook ads for this case, right? So if we go to a Facebook ads campaign, there's right now six campaigns, right? So over the six campaigns, you can see is awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, and promotions, and sales, right? So we, we are going to focus on awareness in the beginning, right? If you are going to if you're going to create awareness for your brand, obviously Facebook have it put up for you, say, hey, this is good for reach, this is good for brand awareness, this is good for video views, this is good for your store location awareness. Okay, but personally, when I create brand awareness campaign in Facebook in, for my sales funnel, I will not really create awareness because it's, it's really top of the funnel whereby uh, sometimes uh, the order is not that targeted. So usually I will create, usually I will create traffic advertisement. Okay, traffic advertisement as in I will still target my demographic correctly and accurately. But right now I'm telling I'm advertising in Facebook to tell people that, hey, I got this offering. Okay, you don't have to buy, but click on the learn more. Remember this call to actions button at the Facebook ads. So instead of saying that get offer, buy now, shop now, download now, I'll say learn more. That's the magic button. So that at least the, the audience in the Facebook while they're scrolling their, their cat's video, dog video, and then suddenly your ads appear very intrusively. Uh, yeah, they, they, if you target correctly, they may be interested slightly on your product services at the point of time, but they, they are at a funnel, they are at this year's funnel whereby they are, they are not really considering to buy your product yet, right? So we are using Facebook on the top of the funnel to tell them that, hey, we got these product services. If you're interested, let's learn more here. So the trick of using Facebook marketing for sales funnel on the lead generation, the top of the brand awareness, is to either create an awareness or for me personally, I like to create a traffic campaigns whereby I bring in okay, the bulk of the audience quality targeted into my funnel and my landing page will try to convince them okay, why they should buy my product services instead of my competitors. Okay, I always say this thing. Okay, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, whichever advertisement you're advertising, it's just like a good tour guide. 
Remember, if you ever go holiday, you will know that uh, in those package tour, a tour guide will usually bring you to a souvenir store, right? They bring you to a souvenir store and whether you buy or don't buy, hopefully you buy because they get some commission, okay? It's nothing much to do with the tour guide, right? It got so much, it got everything to do with the product and services for them in their particular souvenir shop and whether the staff or the sales assistant in the souvenir shop are able to convince you, okay, to buy the product services. And that is the role of stage two. It's just a consideration page, okay, for this sales funnel. We're talking about website, e-commerce, one-page landing page, squeeze page. So I want you to understand in a typical marketing or rather sales funnel, there's different, different stages. Okay, do it step by step. Okay, but the first thing first, focus on doing search engine marketing using YouTube ads or display as I explained earlier or use social media advertisement, Facebook particularly for this video. We're talking about creating awareness campaign or traffic campaigns. Okay, as usual, if you think that I help you in your businesses and I add value to you, please consider to subscribe and like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.